you can see one object talk to each other. There is one carriage which is of 1800s, talking to a 1946 aircraft, talking to a two-wheeler, talking to an automobile. So that's the beauty of the design of this museum. You know, footfalls of this museum has primarily been on account of word of mouth. So they've enjoyed their trip so much that they've gone and said, told to 20 other guests that, you know, please visit the museum. And that's been the success of this museum. Vehicles can often be more than just a mode of transport. Many consider them an extension of themselves. And for some, it can even be a way to express their personality. But for this hotelier from Northern India, they are a way of life. Tarun Thakral started to collect heritage vehicles out of fascination, but over the years, it has turned into an obsession. His heritage collection includes at least 50 vintage cars, 35 two-wheelers, 20 buses and vans, and even a plane dating back to the World War II era. Most of these are now on display at the Heritage Transport Museum in Haryana, a state bordering the Indian capital, Delhi. The museum is spread over 100,000 square feet and is Tarun's brainchild. This was built in 1930 by Sheffield and Company. In its original configuration, it, it had two bedrooms, a living room and a kitchenette, along with one bathroom. Later on, when Palace on Wheels opened, this was designated as the Jodhpur Saloon. It's a pride of the museum. It's set up in an old 40s railway station with enamel signboards, advertising signboards. There's a clock also, a two-way clock, which was very typical of the railways uh, at that time. It just lends that flavor of, uh, you know, that you're actually walking on an old railway platform. Enamored by history and in a bid to preserve it, Tarun has spent the last 25 years to design, document and disseminate information about Indian transportation heritage. It all started with this a 1932 Chevrolet Phaeton. Restored to its original specification after an impulsive buy back in 1994. I found a dilapidated 1932 Chevrolet car and something attracted me um, towards it. And for a princely sum of 5,000 rupees, I picked it up and I brought it um, to Delhi. People thought I'd, this was the start of becoming crazy and I'd gone crazy that who would actually pick up a piece of junk. But then finally, after two years of sourcing parts and restoring the car, it was back on the roads. And it felt that as though one has given life to something which was long gone. That's what I think triggered the passion uh, to collect uh, more vehicles and more cars. At least $200,000 was spent on creating this modern industrial steel structure. Its exhibits include traditional ferry boats, and even a toy dating back to the Indus Valley civilization. About 90% of the museum's items have been donated from Tarun's personal collection. So one object was that uh, as a trust, uh, there should be some continuity. Uh, number one, of preserving the heritage, the, especially the industrial heritage of our country, uh, which nobody was doing. There are collectors everywhere in India, but that collection is very private. I wanted to open this collection uh, to, to the public. And mind you, while you're collecting, you are spending a lot of money also. So by donating all the objects that I had ever owned to the trust, uh, which eventually turned into the museum, I thought it was a gesture for continuity of this heritage for years to come in the future. 